you. Dead. Thank you. And it's Jeff Jitka. That's right. And tell us about this band and all your other projects. Uh, this is Johannes Lindstedt's band, and I think I've been in this something like, I don't know, 14, 15 years now. Minus the pandemic, of course, so it feels sort of a weird, uh -huh. you know, weird little thing. Uh, you know, he writes great tunes. It's fun. Sure the audience uh, absolutely loves it. We've we've toured all over the you know the states. We've been to the Dominican. I know he's been to the Middle East. So hopefully there'll be more of that coming in the near, uh, and near where's, future. And where's been your favorite to play for me? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I love California. Yeah. So that he said yeah. that too. Yeah. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah like Did San Diego's great. No. no, I haven't seen his video. <laughs> We didn't plan this. That's okay, yeah. No, it's Beaches Jazz, man. Street Fest. It's all good. This is crazy. Yeah, this okay. is a crazy one, too, because it hasn't been on in a couple of years, just yep. like you said. Yeah, absolutely. So what's it like getting back to it? It feels great. It was a little strange, you know, at first sure. to be to be doing it. I mean, this isn't our first thing. We've had a bunch, and I, yeah. I play with a bunch of different acts. So the first handful back were a little weird. It's, you know, yeah. you're like, hey, this feels normal. And then you're like, wait, but we haven't done this for a couple of years, right. really. Right. So, yeah. So, uh, okay, so this and what else have you been doing? I do a lot of jobbing, so filling in a lot of bands. I'm doing a lot of writing, producing, recording, uh, some of my own stuff, some for music supervisors, some for different producers. I've been working on some stuff for Jim Brickman, playing guitar on some of his stuff uh, with a producer. So, you know, just trying to kind of keep busy. Keep and an old up. CD uh, you mentioned? I have an old band, which we actually used to play, where Aiden's playing up at the line on the beach, but when it, Stone, we used to live- Stone Lion. Stone Lion, used to yeah. be line on the beach. We used to play there regularly. Uh, we had great opening gigs. So we have an old record that's finally up on, um, you know, all the streaming services uh, called Falling Off the Edge of the World. That's by a band called Mystic Fools. Oh yeah. There's a couple new tracks on the way, but it's sort of, it's my uh, project of love at the moment. So it's, you know, it sort of always ends up taking the back burner when when work comes in, but that's good. So there's yeah, sort good. of that. Yeah. So, uh, okay, well tell us about, let's go back in your history and tell us about your influences and what you did to begin. Uh, well, I started on probably violin, if anybody cares about I did that. Too. Did you? Yeah, grade <laughs> six. Yeah, uh, it was seven for me. <laughs> and I loved it, but I always thought, I want to play guitar, I want to play guitar. Yeah. So I did the whole, I did violin, you know, seven through 13. Started guitar, oh, really? grade, grade cool. 10, and just kind of never, never looked back so from it was that. guitars yeah right. yeah but always I, strings yeah although now i have a drum kit at home yeah. i got <laughs> percussion i got stuff i've collected from all over the place like various percussion so that toys with your recordings pardon me to do your recordings yeah, recordings and, and just uh, i love it you You're know just cool around yeah too. Okay. yeah so a little little bit of everything oh, that's cool okay but, so then the influences in school uh i love tchaikovsky yeah no <laughs> no i mean i loved all that stuff yeah. going Growing up, we had classical stuff in the house. We had jazz. We had pop of the day. We cool. had, you know, rock and roll. But and I always kind of loved it all. So I started playing, like a classical. I don't know my guitar, but nylon style, like we do in this band. Pretty much the same day I started electric, give or take, maybe a few months different. So I was always sort of working my right hand fingering as well as the, uh, elect I have the guitar player thing, as well as the uh, electric thing. Uh, so I just kind of always did that. Went to Humber for for music, for jazz, graduated from from that a million Any years ago. Any favorite teachers at Humber that you want to say hi to? Uh, well, he's passed away, but I oh. had amazing, amazing experience with Peter Harris. He was absolutely incredible guitar player. And Tony Zorzi, who I still love, incredible player, who's done all, done everything. At one point he said to me back in Humber, he goes, yeah, I've been on pretty much every beer ad you've ever heard. <laughs> so that's, that's not, yeah, he's a great, 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 great player. So go more into the influences. Uh, honestly, I love it all. It depends what style we're talking about. Well, you know, I love the blues guys. I love B.B. Yeah. King. You know, we talked a little yeah, bit about all that stuff. Albert King, that yeah. sort of. But also, Ritzy you know, Hendri stuff. Hendrix, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Sure. I was fortunate enough to see three times growing up. So I saw him a couple times at Massey Hall and once at, people might remember, Kingswood Music Theater. at. Yeah, I saw him at Masonic Temple. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. So, you know, that stuff along with... Van Halen, you know, kind of sure. anything that was happening, I, I kind of got so into. So, as a jobber, like when you do your gigs, what are yeah. you, what are you ready to play, like on a spur of the moment kind of call? Tons of pop tunes, rock tunes, blues tunes. I've been playing bass a little bit as well. So some bands, depending whether they can get a guitar player or a bass player, they'll get me to fill in on bass. I actually just booked a mini 
um, country tour with the Country Legends Act, which right. should be fun That's in a couple cool. weeks going up north. Right. Not anything, really. <laughs> um, and, yeah. uh, all right. So we talked a bit about the blues. Yeah. Um, but what else is... Uh, like, I got into the jazz guys, too. Oh, yeah. So, like, I love Joe Pass. I remember seeing him play uh, a solo show at Roy Thompson Hall years ago, obviously before he, before he passed away. Uh, yeah. Pat Metheny, I remember seeing him at uh, Ontario Place, yeah. Chick Corea. Like, yeah. so, so you talked a bit about your guitar. What's uh, what's your, you want to do some gear gab? What are the guys Oh, yeah, hear? I can go on forever. For yeah, me. you're a gear guy? Yeah, unfortunately. So, so what's the, your guitar? What's your favorite So this one, here? for this gig, it's a uh, nylon string Takamini from the mid-80s, which I got maybe, I don't know, 15, 16 years ago in pristine condition, and I've proceeded to destroy it, <laughs> actually. <laughs> I beat the hell out of it. It fell on a stage once when I was playing an electric guitar, headed on a stand, the wind picked up and it knocked over. Uh, so that's for this, that's the main thing. I have an AER amp, which I absolutely love. So for these things, I use it as a sort of as a monitor and to get the sound to the board. Uh, for smaller gigs, I'll use it pointed out. But my electrics, I have a bunch of strats. I got a Les Paul, I got, I don't know, tellies. I forgot. Yeah, so for the electric gear, that stuff. I also have a. I do some jazz gigs, and uh, I have like a jazz box. Where do you do your jazz around here? Uh, it really varies. So prior to the pandemic, doing little clubs, doing restaurants, some main stages with, with uh, different stuff. Not as much as with you know with Johannes, but when it when it pops up, it's wonderful to play. Yeah. So how do we reach you? Uh, Facebook. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. Okay. Uh, you know, like everybody, no I think. Coms, no dot com. No dot com. Just, just your hands. Yeah, he's got one. Yeah, yeah, but you can find me on Facebook and, yeah. and Instagram and all that stuff. Well, that's great. Anybody else you want to give a shout out to? Uh, I can't think of anybody. My family, <laughs> who put up with me and all this great stuff. If you were here last night, oh, you were, but they, they were around last night. I'm all for them. Yeah. I'm all in. Uh, you're all in. Yeah. All right. Well, Jeff, thanks very much for being on the show, and I'm going to post one of the videos of the songs that I took. So oh, right on. Yeah, it's going to go good together. Thanks again. Thank you so Musicians much. Musicians in bars getting beer. Jeff Lipka. I'm going to go get a beer in Let's get beer. That, that not bar. Oh, there your, uh, there your hangout. There's our hang, but yeah. shh, but don't tell. Them. That's okay. Bring them in more. Yeah. Do them and how. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy.